as as a crypto creator i mean i i get it like i'm not a crypto creator but i get a ton of these dms every day on instagram um yeah i'm curious for you like when you're going through these dms what is something that you look for or like what would be the the perfect you know outreach to you if someone's like hey vic we want to do a sponsored post with you you know here's our project um i'm sure there's some messages you look at it once and you're like nope delete nope delete like what's something that stands out to you and like what would you want to see in some of those messages right it's mostly about utility like if it's just an nft project and it's just like we have cool art it's like okay well so what like that doesn't mean anything right what i'm looking for is cool utility or utility that i can see working out long term like i had a a sponsored uh, opportunity didn't didn't work out they didn't want to pay me what i'm worth then i i said no um but they had a really cool project where they're making the framework for crypto games so they're not making a crypto game they're making an ecosystem a coin a blockchain for crypto games that any game can just plug in and i thought that was really dope um but i only understood how they were doing that and the details behind it because i get like i i research a lot of blockchain stuff already so i understand you know what what it it means to leverage like the binance network for example um i understand like what they're trying to do when i read their white paper and having the different phases of the roadmap like I see these patterns across the board so I can tell immediately if a project is legit or not, just, just based off like the white paper, the roadmap, what they're trying to do, how they're trying to do it. Um, and it's really, like I said, it's all about utility. Like they got to be presenting something that actually is useful and innovative because there's way too many opportunities out there that just like an NFT art or like an NFT game, it's just not enough what's the what's the end goal for you with the crypto content creation like where where are you going with it right now it's funny because like i'm i create content on crypto but like that's not really like what i'm trying to do right like i I just want to build a personal brand and Mm -hmm. um my personal brand i want it to be built around helping my audience achieve financial freedom and just right now at this moment in time cryptocurrency crypto mining staking yield farming trading these these topics are are really good ways to generate income and passive income so it's what i've been talking about recently um but my goal is to build a platform not only on TikTok but on youtube where i can promote things for other brands but i can also promote my own uh products digital products services companies that i own um, and have it just be a, just a, a part of my funnel and a part of who I am. It is, it's so powerful. And I've been trying to encourage more and more people to start their own personal brands, especially in the space that you're in. I mean, you see how lucrative these deals are, right? You're probably charging, you know, multiple thousands of dollars to just to work with you on some of these, uh, sponsorships. And I think you mentioned you started on TikTok like six months ago you can really go from zero to full-time income if you're consistent just you know a year and like i'm not even talking about creating your own products or your own agency like this is just from you know working with other companies and there's just there's so many avenues to just um you know create revenue when you have your own brand right you can launch your own products you can launch your own agencies services work with other brands partner up with people there's so many opportunities out there